Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Digital Marketing Daily Roundup and I have a set of cool updates waiting for you today as usual. Finally, uh, IGTV is letting creators make money from ads being run on the platform. In the IGTV will start letting uh, will start sh showing ads on uh, your feed and 55% of the revenue is will go to the creators and and the split accordingly happens between Instagram and the creators. Not just that, Instagram is also letting you uh, show badges when you're doing Instagram live sessions, uh, where you can start advertising. You can start charging people uh, for these badges. And, and there are three pricing variations at the moment, $0.99, $1.99 and $4.99 uh, respectively at the moment. And it'll, it'll change, it is subject to change. So let's see what happens. So finally, the good news is Instagram is letting creators make money like YouTube and, and Facebook. And it, it's been a long awaited feature and finally, finally, finally it's here. Uh, Instagram is really stepping up the game with the AR filters that they have uh, with, the, with, the, with the help of uh, Spark, which is the AR wing of Facebook. And you, with, 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 uh, on Instagram, your pictures and videos can respond according to the music that you upload. Uh, and it's kind of an effect. It's, it's, kind of, uh, an, uh, it's kind of a cool effect where your picture responds to the music. Uh, either it could be a change of colors or it could be certain effects that you could add going forward. And not just that, uh, Instagram and Facebook collectively have come up with a feature. And if I'm not mistaken, they are going to support about 18 countries now where you could sell gift cards on uh, using these platforms. And it's, it's a new feature available where you, you're... I think it was, it was uh, observed in, a, uh, in, South African, uh, in, in the South African geography while it's, it's apparently available in 18 countries as of now. Instagram is testing uh, pinned comments. Uh, the earlier update this week was Instagram was letting you delete comments in bulk, but now the, the new feature also reveals that you could also pin comments on your Instagram feed. It's observed in certain accounts while we are still awaiting a confirmation. Talking about YouTube, uh, YouTube app, uh, kids app arrive in uh, Apple smart TVs, uh, where you can start using the YouTube kids app on Apple TV a much awaited and much helpful feature for people with kids uh, where you don't want to give away your phone or your, your laptop or your tab. You can start tuning into this, uh, this app called YouTube Kids from your Apple TV going forward. This is probably one of the coolest features uh, of this episode where you will start seeing Google search results uh, right below your YouTube listings. So let's assume that you go to YouTube and, and you start searching for, let's say, news today. And along with that, you will start. Uh, you will see a list of YouTube listings. If you if you keep scrolling to the bottom, you will see a, a set of uh, listings from Google Search, and it's been observed in by a sir, one user on Reddit who apparently shared a screenshot, which I'm using, which I'm linking it here. And you can start looking at Google listings on YouTube platform going forward. Guess what? That means additional revenue to Google. And if you're an advertiser, you really want to capitalize on this feature and start showing your ads on these platforms. Much talked about, much awaited feature where you can self-moderate replies on your Twitter feed is here. And Twitter has, has recently announced that it's being launched. And it is also observed in, in certain accounts where you can choose who replies to your tweets. You can never say that you can completely eradicate uh, harassment on Twitter where people try to, uh, you know, uh, troll you or try to uh, make a big scene out of things uh, where people actually troll you, harass you, post a lot of unwanted stuff. I think this self-moderation will allow you to restrict that to a greater extent in my opinion. Talking about LinkedIn, LinkedIn is currently letting uh, people react using five emojis that they have. Uh, I think this was launched somewhere around last August, but I think uh, there is a discussion going on where, you know, it, it, LinkedIn is considering including uh, more emo um, emojis, considering uh, the current COVID pandemic where you can show, express uh, your concern in a better fashion with these emojis, which are very, very specific to COVID. Uh, we really have no confirmation as to this feature is, whether this feature is, is already launched or already is, in, is, is already in works, but I think they're considering it and I think it, 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 it's a cool thing to do if you ask me. Google, on the other hand, has launched a set of cool features for uh, Google businesses or businesses advertising on Google or registering on Google. Now you can start talking about your virtual events on uh, Google Your Business. 
earlier we only had business hours which are you could show where what what times your business is open but going forward you can say uh, you can you can book virtual slots you can register for an online training and google will start uh, giving you these options where you can start uh, displaying these things in your business listings and i think it actually helps a lot of people it also includes google displaying temporary business hours during covid and uh, temporary closing hours for your business and what time what restricted times your business is going to operate uh, businesses can talk about their online trainings or online sessions or online uh, uh, online classrooms if you especially schools uh, which are operating online so you can go ahead and start registering these things and and there are a lot of things good that google is working towards to helping businesses especially in this need of hour i hope you enjoyed this session and if there's anything else that you would want to talk about please comment and i will respond to those and you know i take them very very seriously Stay tuned for many more interesting sessions. Until then, this is Casey signing off. Cheers.